Hi, this is Nancy Christie Moore again, and today I'm going to be discussing how to paint out your unwanted imagery or colors with gesso. Gesso can be a tool for helping we artists out, and you will see that in this demonstration. So come on over here to the table, and we'll get started. First you need your gesso. I usually put some in a little bowl or a little plate and it's just plain old gesso. Gesso you remember is opaque so it's an acrylic product. And here we have the painting that is it's okay but it's just a little too I've demonstrated a lot of techniques on it and it's just a little bit overcrowded and overbearing so I'm going to get rid of it. I can either choose to get rid of the entire painting, see how that just goes right over it, or just parts of the painting. So I'm adding water as I go. Sometimes you love some of these colors when you're doing them, and then when you're done doing them, they're way too extreme, way too much. Or you have a painting that you really loved and you painted on it too much. I'm just getting this thinned down with a little bit of water. You paint on it too much, and before you know it, you've lost the whole meaning and excitement to the painting. So there comes a time when you have to look at it and say, okay, I'm going to start over. And that's what we're doing here. We're just painting everything out. Now what we have in here is some exciting colors and some movement. And I'm going to endeavor during this demonstration to keep some of that. I don't want to get rid of the whole thing. Your gesso can be as thick or as thin as you like, and you're the one who determines that by the addition of water to your gesso. You will also notice that as you put your gesso on the surface of your paper or your canvas, you can do this on canvas as well, you will get brush strokes from the gesso. So you can actually make movement happen just by creating those brush strokes. So I'm, I'm getting some pretty interesting things going on here right now. Just created by painting something out and I'm going to use what's underneath it to start the next painting. That's about all there is to it. So go home, get your gesso, get your gesso brush. Remember to use a nice acrylic brush, something with some bristle to it. Don't use a watercolor brush. And you can do this. Have fun. And I'll see you next time.